The purpose of this video is to provide some instructions for manipulating the data that we'll be using in class. This data can be found in Canvas. When you find the data file in Canvas, download it to your desktop. Once it is on your desktop, double click it to open it up. Once it's open, there might be a tab up here that says allow editing. If so, click on that tab so you can edit the data inside. Once you have it open, click on this tab right here where it says data. And then look over here to the right to see if you have a tab that says data analysis. I'm looking over here and I don't see it on my spreadsheet. That means it's hidden and we need to unhide it so that it appears. To do that, we're going to go over here to File, click on File, and go all the way down to where it says Options. We will click on Options, and then we will click on Add-ins. Once I click on Add-ins, I'm going to click on Go, and then I'm going to select Analysis Tool Pack and Analysis Tool Pack VPA, and then click OK. Now once we've added it on there, data analysis appears over here on the ribbon for our use. If we click on that, then it's going to give you a menu of all the different types of statistics we can use when we're trying to manipulate this data. The first thing that I'm asking you to do is run some descriptive statistics on five of the variables. These variables include distance from your place of birth, height, sleeve length, inseam, and wingspan. We could do this individually, but it's much easier if we calculate the descriptive statistics for all of these at once. To do this, you'll go to Data Analysis and then select Descriptive Statistics and click OK. Now the computer is asking you, what numbers do you want me to look at so that I can run these descriptive statistics? We're interested, as I said, in distance from place of birth all the way over here to wingspan. So with the cursor in that white space, I'm going to click on distance from place of birth, drag down and over to capture all of those numbers. And if you look right here, that is the formula that the computer uses to identify the data that we want it to calculate. Now if you look over here too, we will see that I have also selected the labels for each of these columns. So for instance, right there, I have distance from place of birth. Because I have selected the labels, I must click labels in first row. If I do not click labels in first row, when it runs the calculations, it will produce an error because it's thinking that these labels are numbers and it will give us an error. After clicking labels in first row, I'm going to click output range. And as soon as I click output range, I'm going to click in the white space so that my cursor is right there and ready to go. Output range is asking us where do you want me to put the data once it's been calculated. So if I click on a space outside of this, let's say right here, the computer is going to put the output right here at J2 and it's going to go down and to the right. I could also click on New Worksheet Ply, in which case it's just going to put it on a brand new worksheet that says Sheet 2 right down here next to Sheet 1. So we'll go back to Output Range and then Summary Statistics. We'll click on Summary Statistics. With that information, I'm going to click on OK. And you see that it puts all of the data right there next to this. Now, the best thing to do at this point is to highlight all of these. And then watch what happens to the cursor when I put it between the J and the K. You see two dark arrows going to either side. When I double click my mouse, 
it's going to spread these columns out so that we can read the words that are in each one of the cells. So I'm going to double click and there it spreads it out. Now I can't see it over here so I'm going to go down and move my cursor over so that I can see all of this data. Now we can go over here and we can look at some of this data that we have. So it looks like if we take all of the students who are indicated in this spreadsheet on average the students are 685 miles from their place of birth. The average height for our students in this class is 65.3. Average sleeve length is 30.3. Average inseam is 29.7 and average ring span is 62.8. Now let's say that I wanted you to print this information and bring it to class. And let's say that I'm just interested in the output. What you can do is you can select the output, which is this right here. Go to File, Print, and then I'm going to have a bunch of options. It says right here, Print Active Sheet. I really just want the selection that I selected earlier. So we have that now. But if I print this, it looks like it's going to be two pages. Alternatively, I can say, mm, instead of doing the portrait, let's do landscape. So I select landscape. It's still going to be two pages. So now I can go down here where it says scaling, and I say, put it all on one page. And when I do that, I'm going to get all that data on the one page. Now, it's smaller, but I can still see it. And then all I would do next is go over and select the print button. And it's going to print out that information for me. So this is the first step on our journey to learn how to calculate descriptive statistics using Microsoft Excel.